Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Sloth. Today we're going to be taking a look at setting up a multiplayer server for Starbound. Now, Starbound just kicked off in live beta on December 4th, so some of the information in this video is probably uh, going to become less useful as the developers continue to uh, work and release patches. Right now, the uh, current patch uh, in the beta is down here in the corner. Beta version Irritated Koala. Yes, Irritated Koala. Uh, apparently Ty and the uh, dev team like to have fun with the uh, naming schemes. Uh, enough of that, uh, let's get to it. Uh, the guide is going to cover specifically uh, for this current version of Irritated Koala on the Windows platform and will not require any third-party private networking software. Uh, there's a few things that we're going to have to cover and the topics are going to be external IPs, port forwarding, setting your password, and actually connecting to the server. So let's take a look at the first topic of external IP addressing. Okay, so what is your external IP address? Uh, the easiest way to find out is to go to whatismyip.com. Uh, it will actually list out your uh, IP address. Uh, and this is the address that your ISP provides you. Now, one way to set this up is to go ahead and take that address, uh, give that to your friends, set up your port forwarding, and uh, uh, let them connect that way. Uh, what you need to realize, though, is eventually they're not going to be able to connect using that address unless you're actually paying for a static configuration where that IP address is going to be the same the whole time. So one way uh, that I have set up uh, is to use a free dynamic DNS service um, I personally used noip.com. Uh, all you have to do is hit sign up. You sign up for an account. Uh, it's pretty simple. Put in your username, email address, uh, password, and then pick your host name. Uh, you can set this to, let's see, like, minus Slothcraft Games. Uh, this is the only option that is free. So my uh, dynamic DNS is going to be slothcraftgames.no-ip.biz and that is going to be what I'm going to hand out to my friends to connect to my server. Okay, now let's take a look at setting up port forwarding. Okay, the first thing that we need to know is what port the game is actually using. So to find that out, uh, we're going to go to uh, the drive that it's installed on, program file Steam, Steam Apps Common, Starbound Assets, and then we're going to scroll down to Default Configuration. Uh, you can just open this up with Notepad, I have Notepad++, and we're going to pull this over here. And then just a few lines down you're going to see where it says Game Port 21025. That is the port that we need to forward. So what we need to do now is we need to log into our router and set up the port forwarding. Okay, so I've logged into my router. Uh, this is my router, it's a Linksys E1200. Uh, every router is going to be slightly different, but for the most part, uh, setting this up is going to be very similar across the line. For me, I need to go into Applications and Gaming, and then you can see I've already set it up here. This is blank, I just filled it out with Starbound so that I know what I'm doing. Uh, the external port that I need to forward is that 21025, and I need to forward that to the internal port of 21025. Uh, protocol, this is where you can select TCP or UDP. Uh, I leave this on both, and everything seems to work. Uh, this is uh, the address that you need to forward everything to. Uh, this is going to be the IP address of your computer. Uh, for me, this is the address uh, that I have. If you don't know uh, your internal IP address, the easiest way to do that is to hold the Windows key and hit R and type CMD. And that's going to give you a command prompt. From here, we want to type IP config forward slash all. Hit enter and it's going to spew out a ton of information. What we need to look for is our specific network adapter that we're using. I am on wireless. So I found my wireless adapter and then 
looking down here, I can see that my IP address is 192.168.1.147. That is my internal IP address. That is the IP address for my computer where I am hosting the server. And that is the address that we're going to put in here. You're going to click enable. You're going to save the settings. And that's it for port forwarding. Okay, so now we need to look at making our server a little bit more secure and setting up a password for our players to connect. Now to set the password, there's a couple of files that we're going to have to look at. And again, we're going to navigate through our, our uh, folders here, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Starbound. And we're going to stop there because the first file we need to look at is this starbound.config. Again, we're going to open that with our editor. And what we need to do is scroll down until we find the line that says server passwords. Now, if you notice, there's actually three entries here. This one is blank, this one is duckies, this one is swordfish. Uh, this is the default setting and all three of these will actually work. You can connect without a password, you can connect by typing in duckies or by typing in swordfish. Uh, what we wanna do is actually change that. And we want only one password, so we're gonna get rid of swordfish, we're gonna get rid of duckies, and we just want the one password and be sure to delete this comma here that is not needed and we are going to set inside those quotes our new password we're going to save that file and then we're going to go back to our folder structure we're going to go one folder deeper into assets and we're gonna find that default configuration config file again. We need to open that one with our editor. And this one also has entries inside of it for server passwords. And as you can see, it looks identical to the starbound.config file. And we're gonna set this up the same way. We're going to delete the last two passwords and the comma at the end of the first one and we are going to set the same password in this file. We're going to save that. And that's all we need to do to set our passwords. Now we need to actually launch the game and connect. Okay, so the first step in uh, launching and connecting our server is to make sure that everything is running as an administrator. So what we need to do is go through our folder structure, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Starbound, Win32. Then we want to scroll down to where we find the Starbound application. We want to right click on that, hit properties, go to compatibility, and check the box that says run this program as an administrator. We're gonna hit apply, you're gonna hit okay. And then we also need to do this to the server. So we're gonna right click the server, go to properties, compatibility, check the box, run this program as an administrator, hit apply and hit okay. Now we can actually go into Steam and launch Starbound, which gives us our pretty little launcher here. And then to launch the server, you simply click on launch Starbound server. This is going to pop up the server console uh, you're going to see it go through a ton of information as it loads everything. Uh, mine is actually loading quite a bit because we've already logged in and played some. And you'll just see it, you know, giving messages about what it's actually doing. I'm going to let it sit here for a second because a lot of people have been getting alarmed because you will see where it shuts down a world and that's not actually shutting down your server. There's nothing wrong with it. The way that it operates is if there's nobody on a world, it will actually shut down the world so it is using less resources on the server itself. And there's our shutdown world alpha. That is the message that it is actually closing down the world, which is the planet. It's not shutting down the server, it's just shutting down that planet. So let's go ahead and launch the game and uh, get connected. Okay, so we've launched our client, and we need to connect to the server. So we need to go to multiplayer. We need to select the character that we're going to connect with. If you are connecting to um, your own server on the same machine, you need to put in the IP address of 127.0.0.1. Uh, this is your local loopback address or local host. Uh, that simply tells the machine to connect to itself. Uh, the IP address that your friends are going to be connecting with 
is going to be the one that you set up with the dynamic DNS. We go to the password field. We put in the new password that we had set. We hit join server. And congratulations, you are now connected to your very own multiplayer server. Well, there you go, guys. The server's all set up. So uh, get connected, get your friends connected, and have yourself an amazing time in Starbound. Uh, hopefully this video helped you out. Uh, if it did in any way, please remember to hit like. Uh, don't forget to comment and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the future with some more videos.